um, we should watch this. A new Guilty Gear uh, trailer came out. And it's a character guide for a uh, Slayer. So this trailer, uh, there was this character guide came out on like Thursday, when Kaiza was, you know, pretty much preoccupied with uh, PC troubles. Had to give this shit away. Have to give like my rig away to Best Buy. I'll be picking it up uh, tomorrow, but yeah, it was just not a fun time y yesterday. Just super stressed out and a lot of high anxiety. But there was like a character guide for Guilty Gear Strive and it's going to be for Slayer, right? Slayer's going to be coming out next week, March 29th. Um, that's pretty cool. Um, down to see like what uh, Slayer plays like. <laughs> I just remember the bits of him from Guilty Gear Exarch, right? He has like his uh, dandy step, he has his uh, mappa punch, he has like uh, a command grab that like bites you, um, sort of thing. He doesn't play like a lot of Guilty Gear like characters. <clears throat> he doesn't have the traditional like run uh, dash, he doesn't, he has a teleport dash. Very similar to... Oh! Um, Nagoriyuki? Now? Well, they're both like vampires, so they share like vampire traits. But... That's what I remember from like... Uh, from Slayer. From what I've heard in the Guilty Gear fanbase, is that Slayer is pretty top tier. I don't know how much he has changed since like Rev 2. But Slayer was like a pretty busted like character, just capitalizing off of big damage counter hit Mappa Punch or uh, his like back step into punch. He's a really like versatile dandy character. <clears throat> and so how are they going to change him up here? Slayer. Slayer is a heavy hitting character with a powerful arsenal of lunging attacks. Surprise the opponent with a sudden burst of speed before slamming them with a powerful strike. Okay. Mappa Hunch. Oh, Mappa Hunch. Slayer lunges forward. I thought it was Mappa Punch. A strike attack. It has fast startup and works well in combos starting from normal moves. The punch version covers less space but has fast startup and leaves you safe from counterattacks even when it is blocked. You know, I never noticed this in a lot of these uh, Guilty Gear character guides, but yo, anybody like gets kind of um, like you from the uh, from the the narrator. Like it's like, ugh. I literally have to put up like uh like this, bro. Brother, ugh. What's that? Like his voice is so like off and it's not really like descript. I didn't pay attention to it before, but I'm like noticing it now. I'm just like ugh. <laughs> the kick version travels farther and knocks the opponent down on hit. Knocks the opponent down Choose on hit. Choose the right oh. version for your current situation and distance from the opponent. Oh, okay. Dandy step. Ah, oh, there's a the dandy command step. Movement. Various follow-up moves are available during the motion. The punch version moves forward instantaneously. Oh, it can pass really? To the other side. So it's not back step anymore? The kick version takes a step oh. backwards I'll just shut the hell up now. moving forward making it possible to avoid attacks while going for one of the follow-ups. Oh, In combination uh, yeah. with the follow-up moves, you can trip up the opponent by mixing them up with the punch version or launching a surprise attack with the kick version. Pile uh, bunker, okay. a strike attack at full power. So and wait, let me look at that like uh, punch version because the punch version looks hella new. Slayer didn't have like a command dash. He has a regular dash like teleport dash forward, but he doesn't have a forward dash. Moves forward instantaneously 
and can pass through to the other side of the opponent. Oh shit, he has some fucking Saber Wolf tech. So, oh wait. If you have like Dandy Step like forward combined with like some Slayer like options, you can do like Pile Bunker, like. You have some fucking Leo White Fang mix subs. <laughs> wait a second. <laughs> The kick version takes a step back nation up with the punch pile bunker, a strike attack at full power. It deals excellent damage and has the fastest startup of the dandy step follow up moves. Pile bunker. It works great in combos after landing a hit with forward oh, heavy crouching slash H, H slash or again. crouching heavy slash. Be careful, as it leaves you highly vulnerable when blocked. Uh, unsafe as hell. When you okay. hit the opponent with this near the corner, it triggers a wall stick effect. <laughs> Bump ahead. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Did I just hear that correctly? Did I just fucking hear that correctly? No way my man said a wall stick effect. Bro, they gotta like change up this fucking announcer, man. It's some, some garbage, some garbage basura shit, bro. <laughs> what the fuck is that? No, what the fuck is that wall stick effect? It sounds so, sounds so cringe. You're highly vulnerable when blocked. When you hit the opponent with this near the corner, it triggers a wall stick effect. Bump. A wall stick of, uh, fucking. I can't even, bro. I can't even. Ahead. A sweeping low kick attack. This move is a good option for mixing up a blocking opponent. Slayer recovers quickly, even when this attack is blocked, making it a good option for a follow-up after Dandy Step. Oh. It's late. Slayer it's late. swings his fist down in an overhead attack. Ooh. This attack covers an extensive range, meaning it can hit mid-air opponents. Ah, Switching up this jumping. overhead move and the low attack bump ahead can trip up a blocking opponent. Ooh. Master's Hammer. That's going to be disgusting. Slayer leaps up high before performing a strike attack as he lands. It leaves Slayer at a significant advantage, even when blocked creating an opportunity to go on the offensive. The forward oh. movement as he leaps makes it possible to mix up a blocking opponent that creates a performed a wow. point blank range. Wow. Find the right follow up from Danny Again, some Leo Whitefang shit. What the situation. Wow. I'm gonna mix you up, boy. Universe. Both left and rights. A throw that drains health from the opponent. Although it can't be blocked, Ooh. It whiffs unless you are near the opponent, leaving you wide open. After this move connects, for a duration of time, the next attack you land on the opponent... I can only imagine, like, what Slayer is, like, coming out. So does that mean, like, all the Nago mains will drop? <laughs> unless you're, like, a hardcore, dedicated Nago player... I wonder if this is going to make a lot of casual Nago players drop their, that character for Slayer. <laughs> Bro, he has a blood-sucking universe move, which is like his um, command grab mechanic in Exard, and it refills your health. Connects. For a duration of time, the next attack you land on the opponent will be extra potent. During this universe. time... Attacks such as bump ahead and it's late become possible to follow up after with further attacks. Huh? Landing blood sucking universe makes for a great opportunity to go for mix up. Hand huh. of Doom. A strike attack available as a follow up during a backdash. Ah, oh, yes, is a. Uh... Turn on the offensive while he. So this is like a unique mechanic that uh, only Slayer has. Back in Exart, there is like a specific comp uh, character trial for you to do is that you backstep. Every character has an invincible backstep, right? 
uh, backdash out, you have a lot of invulnerability frames, so you can dodge out of a meaty situation like a throw or a strike. I don't know about uh, pokes, but anything like with a long like with a long active frame and a lot of like recovery is like your best bet to do like a backdash like out. So Slayer has this tech where you backdash out and then you do uh, a retaliation attack uh, after. It's like doing like in an action game, you dodge and then after that dodge, you successfully land a dodge attack, right? Um, Slayer had that, but it was tied to like a backdash with a mappa punch. So you could immediately do mappa punch right after a backdash. And that's only like time to a character uh, attack, an opponent attack. But in here, it's just like a simple input. Now it's just forward S. Evading an attack. Use this move strategically as it leaves you highly vulnerable when blocked. But it's unsafe, okay. Super Mappa Hunch. A lunging strike attack so fast, close can't keep up. <laughs> what? This move has fast startup and is invincible as it comes out. It can be used as part Mappa of a hunch. combo or to interrupt the opponent's strings due to the invincibility. Wow. Last Horizon. An exceptionally powerful strike attack performed oh, by putting is, uh... everything behind a punch. It requires 100% oh, tension gauge to activate, but deals incredible damage on hit. What the fuck was that? Look for the perfect moment to land this attack. Slayer's incredible damage potential after landing a What the fuck was that? He just turned his man into a ping ball? His lunging <coughs> moves, such as the kick version of Mappa Hunch, are the cornerstone of his neutral game. Use forward heavy slash and crouching heavy slash to aim for counters against opponents looking to stop your approach. When you're at close range, wow. use the follow-ups from the punch version of Dandy Step or Blood Sucking Universe to mix up the opponent. His dash can pass through to the other side of the opponent, dazzling the opponent with your tricky offense. Tricky offense. The powered up what? state after landing Blood Sucking Universe has the potential to determine the outcome of a match. Read your opponent's next move and hit them with his pile bunker. Thank you for watching. Okay, so like. So Slayer got a little bit like some some ups and downs, but I think this is like the first video where I of course I didn't play Slayer like a whole bunch. I've not seen a lot of like Slayer things back in like competitive Exart. But like the character seems to be pretty like, you know, more more broken <laughs> than he ever was, right? First of all, Dandy Step he now has like just he now has his regular dandy step, which is like a command backdash, but now his punch now is like a saber wolf like pass through or like a Leo Whitefang like uh, <coughs> dash to fa dash to dash through the opponent and continue like offense. So if you're like doing like guilty gear block strings <coughs> with um. Slayer, you could just do like a lot of different options like dandy step like everybody's favorite is going to be like punch if you if you want to continue like offense pile bunker bump ahead masters hammer shit like that to just like trip up the opponent it's a lot like leo white <laughs> but i'm curious though if if somebody does like the punch version of dandy step will it be like Will they, will they be still, will they'll still be grabbed out of, you know? Cause like, <coughs> Leo Whitefang has an awesome com uh, special move <clears throat> where he like runs and if he's like in close uh, distance to the opponent, he can like, <coughs> excuse me, um, get behind the opponent and uh, strike him. But, um, 
if the opponent knows what he's going to do, they could just like grab him out. So can you like grab like Slayer when he does the um the, excuse me. Can he step forward? <clears throat> pile bunker, pile bunker, unsafe, but like your big damaging move. Yeah. Creates like wall splat in like just less actions than than it ever did. I mean that was like that in the Exarch where you just get like wall splat in Exarch and Slayer players would just like do pile bunker, pile bunker, pile bunker to max out damage. <laughs> the low is like a cool like uh, effect, like dash into like low, and you're still like safe after. Stay sticks, and you're still safe after that uh, block string. It's late. Um, Master's hammer. Yeah, so they made like Slayer like pretty beefed up. Not a lot of like the tools that you can get from like Exard, but he's still pretty good. I'm very curious on the universe state, right? Because it just technically grants, like, Slayer a, a forcible counter. Um, so does that, like, if you do, like, a counter hit normal move, and then do, like, universe, and then have universe state ready? I'm wondering what will be, like, the, um, what will be the effects taking place? Will, will the counter hit take priority? Will the universe take priority? Can you stack counter with universals? <coughs> I'm wondering. We'll, we'll like tech, we'll like pretty much find out. <coughs> we'll pretty much find out when we play Slayer. <coughs> hmm. Super Mappa Punch. <clears throat> and I love this last Horizon move. Literal Raging Demon, and he punches you so fucking hard, you turn into a goddamn pinball. That's so funny. And it literally is like. <clears throat> is like a delete your health type of move. It's literally a, like a delete your health type of move. And, Nago Ryuki is a big chunky guy. Last Horizon on Nago Ryuki is like, what is this? More than 50% of your health. And this is after Slayer did like counter hit crouching heavy slash. Huh. <clears throat> yeah, like this. You get to combo into your uh, Raging Demon. So let's see, right? Slayer looks like he's pretty good. Let's see how well he is, like, in combos, right? Of course, you know, once again, right? When we do, like, character, um... <clears throat> character launch days, like, character discoveries, we're only finding out what, like, cool sauce that he has, right? Of course, all the character guides alone will give you a pretty good understanding of how to play Slayer in neutral. Right? So anybody can understand neutral. But what I'm looking for is like unique wacky combos that you can do with Slayer. What are some of like the crazy high ball and shit that you can do with this like dandy man? That's what I'm like looking for.